格斯。我们先看看上半区的半决赛，亨特他是出生于英格兰的里兹，今年只有十九岁，世界排名第四十三位，在四分之一决赛中曾经是以五比三击败了麦克马诺斯，也用十一盘六胜制。那么。谁先打到六，谁就获胜。在泰伯顿打了一杆四十二度的挺杆以后呢，现在是由亨特上杆五以后呢，是球向下按。这样呢是把六个红球大半局打蓝五，打一个低杆。所以看出现在许许多多的这些年轻，对于他来讲，现在难度已经并不是很大。打这种球啊，应该说是。每一位职业斯诺克选手的四十二度在第一盘的比赛中呢是战胜了对手，而且他的走位呢可以看出这位只有十九岁的小将的确是少年得志、少年老成。这样呢，他是以八十比四十二呢在第一盘中收是皇家公开赛的第一场半决赛，是由亨特对艾伯顿。本次节目的中文解说是苏东，现在场上的大比。保中带，带了高安去，但是应该说这长距离的球对他应该难度并不是很大。果然，这做的相当的出色，尤其是亨德利，他的心理素质相当过硬。的另外一场半决赛，那么辛格斯呢是，辛格斯呢是世界排名第二的选手，那么排在第一位，七十度领先了对手，台面上只剩下了五十三度。一球被击落的话，那么埃弗顿呢基本上就要缴械投降了。果然，这个如果击落的话，那么对于埃弗顿来讲就输了。现在是双方呢是最终，亨特会以六比一。击败埃伯顿啊，争夺之战。哦，不但把这个黄球打赢，而且把这个蓝的确是亨特打得如此之神。最终呢，他是打一个翻弹没有翻进，但依然埃伯顿呢被对方淘汰出局。这样呢，最终是亨特以六比一击败对手以后，进入到了决赛。他在。So Paul Hunter, 19 years old, ranked at number 43 in the world, and beat uh, Alan McManus in the quarters. As for John Higgins, well, world ranked number two, the 1997 German and European Open champion. Totally on the table when they start. One. Nine. <laughs> All coming from that rather elementary error from uh, John Higgins, where he was. And this certainly looks promising at this stage for Paul Hunter. A lot of chalk on the cues. 52. You ball at all. Misjudged it completely. Well, that was a very good shot in the end. They do lean across the table. And that was a very good cut as well. And a long pot there to the top pocket. 93. And this will bring up a break of 100 if he can sink it. And he can. Break of 120, and now the final ball to black. And a break of 127. And Paul Hunter. Players have broken in frame four. Hunter's at the table, but Higgins leading two frames to one. But and now he comes up against the world's number two in John Higgins. Shot on the red there for the bottom pocket. 15. Steve Davis and Stephen Hendry have the most wins in the Open era, with two victories each in this tournament. And Steve.
from eight, Regal Welsh. We're in the fourth frame. Paul Hunter is at the table. And John Higgins will know if he does get back to the table, he's going to need snookers. 92. Brings the cue ball down the table. Again, this red to bring up the 100. Just the colours left. Not many of those now. Break of 112. He's going to go for the blue in the top pocket. He just doesn't fall. But he's wrapped up the fourth frame and he's wrapped up this final. Well, what a seesawing battle this has been. It was two frames all after the first four. And then Higgins took two, and then Hunter took two. Higgins took the ninth, Hunter took the tenth in the eleventh, and now Hunter leads by six frames to five. That was brilliant. A difficult shot. And we just saw them in the semi-finals against Mark King. We've seen them here. And Paul Hunter, who's become... And for the red in the centre of the table and sinks that one. Hugh Ball comes back to the top. He's not really been at, able to extend his lead too far because so many times the really needed to try to get some of the higher pointed balls. The pink and the black. Two reds. He is that time going for the shot. Trying to sink one of them. And else to do so. Now Hunter. Yeah, perhaps try to play this along the top cushion. And he does, and it goes in. That's the last red. He's overcut that. Paul Hunter, eight. You see there from how much damage that will have done. 17 behind, 27 remaining before the green for the top right hand pocket. 41 to 53. Be the hardest shot of the four that's remaining. The brown to the top pocket. Oh, and he's missed it. what he's tried to do brings it down for a position on the pink and that's the 12th frame for Paul Hunter and Paul Hunter may just be able to pick off that one red that's loose and he does so brings the cue ball around the 13th frame Blue for the centre pocket. Another red disappears. And five in the best of 17 frame final. It is now looking more and more like perhaps even a winner's check. And who would have believed that when this tournament opened a week ago? Big helping hand to the career of young players. We remember Mark Williams getting through to the final in 1996. Oh, and again, it will not fall. And John Higgins concedes as this, the 14th frame, gets underway. And are we seeing history in the making? John Higgins, the world's number two. Trailing now eight frames to five throughout this whole week, in fact, of the Regal Welsh. He was the crowd favourite coming into this as the underdog. Both domestically and internationally. He has to say, it hasn't been that sort of day for John Higgins. 25. 
1992. Blacks and one blue. 63. So far, now it's up to 63. I would expect, though, that he would just be so focused at the moment, knowing only sit and watch. Now he's taking the cue ball up the table. And that means that he could win the £5,000 bonus for the highest televised break. 85. Brings the cue ball down. Oh, that's brilliant. Another break of 100. John Higgins as he watches. <laughs> Going to go for the black. 108. <laughs> oh, it doesn't fall. So he won't get the highest break, but he will get the championship check because John Higgins comes over to congratulate him. And the 19-year-old from Leeds wins the 1998 Regal Welsh Open here in Newport. His biggest payday ever. And the supporters and fans there stand and applaud. Some come over to congratulate him. So Paul Hunter, the Regal Welsh champion for 1998. Well, we'll continue to bring you the best of international snooker from all around the world right here on ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports.